Alright, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a very quick and easy way to make a map in Blender. Blender is a free uh, to use 3D modeling program. I believe you just go to blender.org. If not, I will leave the link to the download in the description. Assuming you already have Blender, you want to... I'll go ahead and start it up a new one. When you get started, you want to press A and then press A again and it's going to select everything. Remember that A can deselect and select everything. That's very important. It's easy to access. You're going to press the delete key and delete. Now down here you'll see it says add. You're going to press add mesh plane. Okay? And you can kind of do this however you want. You can just resize it. I'm just going to make it about that big, but you can do it pretty much as much as you want. And then on the numpad, if you press 7, it's going to put it into this view. And that is uh, a good way to see it. Uh, down here where it says object mode, you want to select edit mode. And you're going to want to select this little cube here, face select. Next thing you're going to want to do is press subdivide. And down here where number of cuts, you can customize this, but I like to do maximum. So next thing you want to do is press 7 again so you can see this if you hold down control and click you want it first you have to right click and now well, after it's selected hold down control and start selecting more this is where the walls are going to pop up so I'm just going to make a simple um, kind of just like a yard type map All right, that should be good to go. I'm going to delete that one. All right, so after you have them selected, you want to press E to extrude, and then press, let's say, 2. And if you're using Unity, all right, to make your games, or just Blender, because you can make games in Blender, but that's I, I don't do that, you can save this. All right, I'm, and you can save it in a Blender folder or just on your desktop. Uh, I'm just going to call it Map or Custom Map. Save Blender file. If you use this in Unity, Unity can read Blender files. So I have it saved in my Objects folder now. And after that, I can find it. I have some stuff in here. But you see there, and you can drag it in, and it's just like the way you had it created in Blender. And you can move your character and stuff into the map and it will work <laughs> just like a regular map. So the problem you'll see though is your player can fall through it. If that, if that is happening to you, go down here to add component, physics, and then mesh collider. But I'm not going to go too much through this because this is a Blender tutorial and not a Unity tutorial. But if you are using Unity and you're having that problem, you just add a mesh collider. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And leave a comment, like, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.